Once upon a time was when Harold was hammering the daylights out of life. Now don't ask me when, because what am I, a watch or something? Anyway, he woke up in a cold sweat. What a nightmare, <laughs> exclaimed Harold. I just dreamed I turned into chocolate pudding. <laughs> oh my. Slap happy to be alive and well, not chocolate pudding. Harold knew he had to eat something to banish the pudding nightmare from his noggin. He climbed out of bed with a new craving. Lemon meringue pie, extra tot. Ooh, I gotta get me some today. So Harold stuffed his false choppers into his mouth, pulled on the midget lifeboats he calls shoes, and set off to find lemon meringue pie, extra tot. Shambling by his workbench, Harold remembers the fixture promised Winston. I'll call that sh what is this here, uh, schlamazzle. Schlamazzle? <laughs> he dials, hello? Schlamazzle, this is Schlamiels speaking. <laughs> I mean, uh, Winston, uh, Harold Rogovan here. No, I don't mean it. Uh, I do mean it, I mean. You are a schlamazzle. schlamazzle. <laughs> Listen here, you cheap. Schlamazzle. <laughs> I'm taking the day off. That's right. This is one of those times I tell everyone about when I'm telling you off. Up your, uh, up your steam shovel. Up your tuchus. <laughs> With that fixture. <laughs> you wait me. I gotta get lemon meringue pie. Of course, extra tot. Now get this. But, as Harold opens the door to leave the house, a pair of Fafufnik evangelists appear on the doorstep. We are from the Church of God the Awful Mighty, they say. Let us come in, brother, and talk to you about God's plan to save your wretched soul. Harold folds his arms, Mussolini-like, over his chest, and answers, There is only one God, and he is Allah. The spirit of Allah is not passive, but active. <laughs> By now... The... <laughs> it gets worse. It gets worse. It can't, it can't. Well, listen, oh, by now, the my. two buffooniks are turned and are active, not passive about running down the street. <laughs> Harold climbs into his 1967 Volvo and putters off to Schmagegi's Diner of Carafon. <laughs> Our specialty, Sicilian soul food and lemon meringue pie. <clears throat> they better have an extra tot, says Harold. I know what I want, states Harold, bursting into Schmagegi's. I'll have a big hunk of lemon meringue pie, and I don't mean a bissel, and I do mean extra tart. The waiter, a paisan named Piccarelli from the Bronx, knew Harold well. He was ready for this tough customer. Hey, Bojumoy, what do you think? Piccarelli's got no pie? Put your tukas down there. <laughs> Harold plops down into a booth. Piccarelli plops down a big hunk of lemon meringue pie. Bada bing, bada boom, extra tot. Pointing up an index finger, which can be dangerous in a Sicilian soul food diner, <laughs> Harold affects his best Empire State College accent and replies, I choose to reserve judgment until the matter at hand is in mouth. What are you talking about? Snipes Piccarelli. Mozzos, mozzos, two, four, five. That's what keeps the Jews alive. Now, Bonja, eat your pie. Harold snarks down a bite bigger than his size 14 triple E's. Piccarelli asks, pot enough for you? Apparently, Piccarelli slipped in, slipped in some Mount Pepperoni sauce. <laughs> Harold puck, Puckers and... Everyone do this one here. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh. Right there. Ah, I still wasn't as loud as Harold's. <laughs> That's true. But get this. Out flies the pie, Piccarelli, and Harold's choppers. <laughs> right out of the diner. Harold inspects his nose work from the diner steps. Oh my, that was a good one. 
<laughs> but not enough lemon, notes our hero. <laughs> oh, Piccarelli! Your pie's giving me gas! <laughs> the discombobulated paisan cries. This is one for you, Alex. Hey, a bunch of galoopa! And no shit on a stoop! <laughs> the zonk stick. He keeps in his cars to take out the taillights of anyone who brights him from behind. Where did you hear about that? Harold potches Piccarelli and pronounces him a putz goy and, and bada bing bada boom off he putters in his 67 Volvo. I hate to do it, he says, but I better schlep over to the old bat's house. <laughs> My mother's meshug enough, but she sure knows lemon meringue pie. <laughs> Who are you? wonders Millie upon seeing her son. <laughs> Harold says, Harold, the last time I checked my driver's license. I'm here for some of your lemon meringue pie. Oh, I require lots of protein. <laughs> so I'm making a lemon meringue pie, explained Millie. Are you? Uh, you old bat, where are you making it? <laughs> oh, Harold, it's in the pressure cooker. <laughs> Craving that extra card, Harold proceeds to whistle like a pressure cooker. <laughs> Millie shuffled into the kitchen. My pie's ready. Oh, no, it's not. She smirks and gives, or she gives her smirking son the old evil eye. <laughs> Did you whistle like my cooker? Fafoofnik! <laughs> Millie goes back into the living room. Harold gives the whistle again. Millie shuffles back into the kitchen, checks the cooker, and hisses at Harold. Fafoofnik! As soon as she settles down, Harold whistles again. Millie falls for the prank a few more times. And then, Harold slips off to the powder room. And, uh, you know, Piccarelli's kind of caught up with him. Uh -oh. The pressure cooker sounds off again. I mean, the one in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I won't fall for your childishness anymore, Harold, declares Millie, while the pot grows more insistent. Harold's oblivious, singing. Now I need Celia and Kate here to help hey, me Hey, we need some one. singing help here. Hey, Kate. Shall I sing a little doom? Sing, um... None of the car means not shit in the car, my face. Or how about singing? Can we take a quick pause for intermission for one second? Yes, we have to get you back anyway. Okay, well, we have to take a pause because there has to be a diaper change going on in here. Harold has been waiting for this lemon rind pie to bake in the pressure cooker and he keeps whistling. And Billy keeps running in the kitchen to test to check it out. Then finally, Harold has got to go into the bathroom because. Piccarelli's caught up with him. <laughs> the pressure cooker sounds off. I, I won't fall for your childishness again, Harold, declares Millie, but the pot grows more insistent. Harold's in the bathroom, oblivious, singing. Hit it, guys. There were three little boys, 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 boys a sitting on a grave, grave a waiting and a joy bit, and acting all betoyed. Along came Boyd with a squirt named Goy, who worked in a short factory in Joyzy. Now everyone say, Kaboom! <laughs> there goes the uh, pot, and it turned out Millie, a bit mashugana, forgot it was split pea soup in the pressure cooker. <laughs> and as I understand, the uh, apartment is still painted pea green. <laughs> so Harold's off again in his Valvoy. Valvo. <laughs> now what is this here? It's a Pachoina twang. <laughs> <laughs> to his old pal Dave Rothenberg's. Dave answers Harold's craving with, the only place to get that lemon pie is Palisades Amusement Park. It spins all day and after dark, and it's extra taut. <laughs> they pile sniveling Celia, crying Kate, and slobbering Sa Sasha into the Volvo. And I don't know how the kids got there, but Pachoinga twang, they roar off with everyone singing, um, the monkey's got no tail in Zamboanga. <laughs> oh, the monkey's got no tails in Zamboanga. Oh, the monkey's got no tails. They was bitten off by whales. Oh, the monkey's got no tails in Zamboanga. And then when they finally get there, they ride the coaster, get cool in the waves in the pool. 
but when Harold mowed down some old bat with his off-road bumper card, <laughs> well, that was it. The party got kicked out. Alex and Harold left kicking and screaming, Connie Plot! It's all the Connie Plot! <laughs> but it did no good. What is that with him? Mats! <laughs> they were out and out of luck. Life is a commie plot, observed Dave Rothenberg. And away he flew on his, uh, what is that again? Pachoya twang. <laughs> right. <laughs> but everyone felt for Harold. We're so sorry, offered sweet Celia. Does this mean we have to have super burgers? Wondered Alex. <laughs> you mean, you know that's really meatloaf, loaf? Oh, they cried Harold. Oh, they. I'm a real schlemiel. Oi, they, come on, John. Oi, they <laughs> cried Harold. I'm a real schlemiel. <coughs> they perked up. Hey, it's Whoa. stinky pinky. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Real schlemiel. Yeah. I've got it. Dad, skip the pie and have some cake. I've got some right here. Clever Cake resourcefully conjured a delicious bissel of cookery, capery, that is, um, making not one fablundakite. <laughs> S a kindle no. S or S kindle S whatever cried Harold upon seeing the cake and no yicks yaks or yucks <laughs> and Harold too ate drank deeply of life and he continues to live Haroldly ever after oh. and that's the whole what is that last one there Gansa Magilla. Kids' book now. Okay. Uh, don't kid yourself, you could, except you'd have every uh, ethnic group up your ass. <laughs>